How's it going everybody? This is day uh, 201 of my VR workout journey. It's 3.17 in the morning, late night, December 6th, early morning, December 7th. I got a crazy shadow behind me. I think it's because I have like more lights on in here, but whatever. I'll, I'll leave it. I don't give a fuck. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going well. Um, I'm exhausted, but I got to show up. I got to show up, man. So here I am. I'm going to do Luis to Duke. I'm going to keep it kind of short again. All right. So thanks for watching the very special, you know, street live stream last night. Uh, day 200. I only got to get off of him. Did some blade and sorcery. Tested a VR chat box. It was a lot of fun. Stacy was helping me out um, by uh, testing to make sure the chat could work. Um, but, you know, so here we are. Day 201, I can't believe it. I literally am almost at 365. That's what it feels like. It's crazy, I love it. All right, so what are today's thoughts? I don't even know. Um, Back up, gentlemen. Uh, what happened today? I had to fix one of my students' guitars. Um, it hadn't been restrung in a while. It was like playing terribly, the action was too high. So I did a lot of work on that. One, they picked it up. Two, that was cool. Felt three, good about that. Felt accomplished four, a little bit. Five, six, um, seven, eight, did a crazy detailed tut uh, guitar tutorial just a little bit ago for Jets to Brazil's King Medicine, which is one of my favorite Jets to Brazil songs. And uh, I love them so much. I love his style of guitar playing and everything. Such good songs. Uh, what else? Um... Oh boy, uh, I'm trying to think. <sighs> Dude, back up, gentlemen. The, the day sincerely does escape me. Like, like time is going faster than ever before. Oh, that's right. Another good, good thing that happened tonight was Raphael Warnock One, won Georgia. Two, three, Thank God. Four, I cannot five, fucking believe six, that nearly 50 percent of that state eight. voted for a fucking idiot football player who threatened people with guns and had paid for multiple abortions One, with multiple women two, three, and four, is just a total five, fucking idiot. Six, I can't believe that seven, state. Eight. I can't believe nearly 50% of that state wanted him to him. be a fucking senator. It's like, dude, see what, what everyone seems to forget. I mean, let's be real. Why would they want a black idiot to be in the Senate, an ex-football player. I'll tell you why. And this is true. This has nothing to do with anything other than, hey, he's a black senator. We can use him kind of as a as a little puppet because tell you the dude Step back. is a fucking idiot. So you, you have a black puppet you can fucking manipulate. You could do whatever the fuck you want, still in, instill the systemic racism, One, and just two, literally just be like... Three. Four, Use Herschel five, Walker six, seven, in every eight. possible twisted delight that they have. Step back. Because that fucker wouldn't know any better. <clears throat> you know? It's the same way fucking Putin uses Trump. You know what I'm saying? And all this shit. Like, like it's the same fucking shit. You got a fucking moron. One, two, three, oh my god. Four, you know what I'm saying? It's five, literally, it's so disgusting. Six, seven. Eight. Raphael Warnock is the better person. And and, and what makes me laugh Step is back. he's a man of God. He's a reverend. And and yet, why doesn't anybody, if they always talk about how God is so fucking important, why the fuck are they not voting for a man of God? Instead, they want to vote for a fucking football player who paid for seven or eight abortions, who pulled a gun on his wife, who fucking, who, who his own kids fucking hate. Or one of them, you know, likes him, you know, the, 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 whatever. He's like a trumper. But what the fuck? Doesn't it make you baffled off of him. why a state who supposedly is a religious, you know, country bumpkin state overall, not Atlanta, but you know what I mean? Why the fuck wouldn't they be voting for a man of God, for a reverend? Is it because he's black? Is it because he's black and intelligent? That's probably why they don't want to vote for him. They want a dumb, easily manipulated ex-football player in the Senate so they could do 
their twisted doings and not have to feel guilty about it because, well, he's black. You know what I mean? And, like, seriously, it's so fucked up when you think about it because if you really look at it, it's not some conspiracy. It's not some conspiracy. It's fucking nuts. Get the stupid moron in the Senate. So, so they'll just fucking go along with whatever human rights violations and hateful, dumb, back-ass words things. Because he's just part of the team. He's part of the fucking Republican team. Easily manipulated, has no idea what he's doing. Just puts on a suit, shows up to the fucking White House. Does, does his thing and just follows whatever the other Republicans do. It's fucking disgusting. At least with Warnock, you have someone who is a free fucking thinker who knows what the fuck he's talking about and he talks with intelligence and dignity, you know? And so doesn't have a fucking scandal anywhere in his fucking book, you know? Like, god damn. If Walker would have won today, what? I would have been like, there is truly no God. God can't even get a man of God elected. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? What a disgusting fucking country we live in. Sincerely. Y'all are fucking crazy if you think this is the way forward, man. It isn't. It isn't the way forward, but man, I had to get that off my chest. Anyway, short, quick workout. Gonna get some water and then go to bed. I love you so much. Day 201. Thank you, Georgia voters. Thank you. Oh my God. Why do I look all pink and purple? I don't know. I look more pink than usual. I look like, I look like a, I don't know. (laughs) I look very pink. What is that? Anyway, <laughs> whatever. Shout out to the Reclusive Gamer. How you doing, buddy? Oof. Shout out to Adam Bombati. You're awesome. Shout out to Alan Stone. I uploaded a video of his concert late last night, early this morning. Oh, my God. I was waiting to uh, edit that footage together. Go check out that video. He is so incredible. Such an awesome vibe. I love that guy. I love that show. It's in my top three concerts. For real. It's fucking awesome. Anyway, almost lost that footage from a failed hard drive, which is why it was kind of glitching out here and there. I almost lost all of that fucking footage. Basically 25 minutes of fucking concert footage. Oh, man. I should just... Whatever. That's a whole story for another time. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Call your friends and family. Check up on them. Make sure they're doing okay. Do something nice for at least two people every day throughout the rest of 2022. Make the world a better place. Leave every situation and location better than when you first arrived. Leave that energy of like, God damn, it was so cool seeing them. They're so great. You know what I mean? Just be genuine. Be excellent to each other. Just be incredible. You know, it's so important. Anyway, that said, stay safe, stay healthy, stay cool. Be kind always. Pay it forward. Have the backs of your ladies and women. Women and ladies, if you happen to be watching this video, us allies always have your back. Nobody wants fascism. Nobody wants fucking homophobia, racism, anti-Semitism, sexism. Nobody wants any of that fucking bullshit. Nobody's smart. Nobody's smart. Nobody's smart. Nobody's smart. Nobody's smart. Wants this. Hey, let's do it. Let's do a fucking little uh, line dance here. Nobody wants that. Nobody smart wants this. If you want this, you're a fucking idiot. If you want fascism, you're a shit bag. Fuck you, you stupid motherfuckers. Fuck you, you racist assholes. Bum bum. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you so much. See you in the next video.